So this video is about how to do animated backgrounds. So let's start out with a uh, black background with stars in it, and then it's going to um, pretty much uh, jump to a lighter blue or darker blue, and then it's going to turn light, light, light. So let me show you the demo here, and then I'll explain. So see how it jumps to a blue, to a lighter blue, and then it stops there. Alright, oh, there it does. Okay. So that's the last color there. So let me show you how I did that. So there's only one background in here. It starts out with background zero, which is just a small square with some dots, white dots in there for space with 64, height 64 and then in the question mark here so I just do, went to backgrounds and then backgrounds and then I went to this background zero here and then I don't know what let's see okay and I basically so I tilted press the tilt horizontal then tilt vertical so this is what you start out with because it's 64 by 64 image and then you want to go tilt horizontal and tilt vertical so you get so it spreads out on the whole canvas then in the question mark there right click edit object you don't need a sprint or image for this do a create and then you do a timer in the main two tab so number of steps 40 alarm is zero you can change this to any um, milliseconds you want it I just stuck with 40 here and then after 40 milliseconds it's going to jump to alarm zero and then it's going to do this step here so it's going to switch you're going to switch background index case zero um, if you have background one it's going to rotate to background one so it's going to go to background one here which is this blue with um, stars in it this is starting to fade so first was black now it's starting to, starting to turn dark blue with stars same width and height 64 by 64 and so what's what's happening here it's going to it's basically rotating from the first background background zero and then it's going to it's going to jump to background one if it's there which it is that's what's happening here and then then it's going to do 100 milliseconds and it's going to jump to one, alarm one so after this is on the screen after um, background one is on the screen for 100 milliseconds it's going to go to background two so it's going to go it's going to do another switch if background two is there which it is then rotate so background two is a lighter blue and the stars start to fade away same width and height and then it's going to go to then 100 milliseconds is going to pass and then it's going to go to alarm 2 and then it's going to do another case which is case 2 other one was case 1 so now it's going to go to background 3 
background th three is this lighter blue. Same height and width. And then the last one is going to go to background four, case three. And it's this lighter blue color here. Same height and width, 64, 64. So um, this is how you pretty much do a animated background without having to do a bunch of object images because you could just do, you could make a bunch of object images and you could do 64 by 64 for an object for the star background here and you could just keep clicking, keep clicking, keep clicking to fill up your whole canvas with the star background but that's going to take time and space on your computer or your Android device. So it's just, um, this is a pretty much an easy way of animating backgrounds and they, it, it kind of jumps you know from one background to the next but you can um, make several background images and you know do the transition effect so it could it can be more of a uh, transition versus a jump so um, I will provide you with this code here where it does a jump so like it does, it basically just does a switch case from case zero to case one, and like I said, all this information stays the same except for the information here, where it says background two, background two. So like um, the first alarm, you got see this stays the same. You change the case number, and then then you change the if statement. From background one to background two to background three and this also changes too so this changes and this changes for each background you have and then change the case so change this information and then change that change the case number and you're set to go Thanks for watching.